Hi everybody, welcome to the review with Launchbox and a bit of a self-help guide of how things work with Launchbox. Uh, these are, this is a basic guide on how to do things. Click here, all your tools, and that's where all your tools are, whether to import ROMs and emulators and box art and anything you want and it goes in there. MS-DOS games as you'll see. I'll give you a quick run through of some of the games. Uh, we've got a full MAME set. Uh, my favourite game on MAME is definitely 2 on 2 Ice Hockey Challenge, which I'll do a review for. Uh, we have lots of other games. Arcade, 2 player, 4 player. Which loads. Some have got box art, some I haven't got around to finishing up yet on the box art. Now you've got Atari Classics. You've got Capcom Systems. There's some pretty good games for the Capcom. Uh, the play systems for Capcom, which are the Super, Ninos, uh, the Super Street Fighters, etc. Final Fight, which is a great arcade game. Let's say some of the box art needs finishing up. Uh, the Play 3 system, which was uh, Street Fighter 3. Uh, you've got the Crave systems, Data East. You've got fighting games, which are more Neo Geo based ones. Aaron Classics, Midway Classics, Cruise in USA, can't forget that game. Namco, Namco System 22, which was uh, Ridge Racers, etc. Nintendo System 10, Play 10, Sega Model 2, Sega STV board, which is the Model 2 ROM set, and that's really what you've got with the uh, main set for the arcade. Uh, you can also install MS-DOS games in it, which I've done here as you can see. One of my favourite games ever, Sensible World of Soccer, Constructor. You can install, as long as you've got MS-DOS or MS-3, you can install it into the game consoles. You've got game consoles, 3DO, Atari Jaguar, Atari Jaguar CD, but there is no work in emulators to play Jaguar CD games as, as far. Amiga CD32, terrible system. Nintendo 64, which is around th just under 300 games as a complete set. Just about everything you want is there. Super Ni uh, Nintendo Nint Entertainment System, which is the old toaster Nintendo in the 80s. We all had one of those. Nintendo GameCube, which is one of my favourite games to play, and especially when you set it out for full 1080. The full library set. Even the new Nintendo Switch, which is a work in progress. Nintendo Wii. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Some interesting games for Nintendo Wii. Uh, Nintendo Wii U, that's a work in progress. Sega 32X. A full ROM set. With, with the ones that were unreleased. Sega CD Mega CD. ROM set. Some unreleased ones. Bug Blasters, Citizen X. They never saw the light of day, but they've managed to sneak out on the internet. Full collection of Sega Mega CD stroke Sega CD games. My personal region is a, is a Sega Mega CD. Including some unreleased ones like Sonic Blast. Mega Mix.
including some Super Strike series, which was never seen light a day on the Mega CD release. But it was made. All three uh, uh, Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, and Urban Strike games. So you get the CD32X, which didn't have many games, but there they are. Sega Dreamcast. Good old fashioned Dreamcast. Everybody loves the Sega Dreamcast. A great console. Which has got some surprising games which were unreleased in this country. A, a bus game. It's interesting. It's like Grand Theft Auto around town sensors. It's kind of like pick people up, drop people off. It's quite fun. Uh, uh, the Crazy Taxi series. The Ferraris. All the normal general... Dreamcast games are there. Marvel vs. Capcom, Power Stones, Jack Ryan Radio, Fantasy Star Online, Quake Arena, Ready to Rumble, Resident Evils. Uh, they're all there. Sega Rally 2, Shenmue, Shenmue 2, Soldier of Fortune, the Sonics. They're all there, including the famous Star Wars Racer. That was a fantastic game. Uh, Sega Genesis. There's about a thousand games for the Sega Genesis. We're not going to go through the lot, but we get the idea. It was a Mega Drive to me, but in North America it was Genesis. A Sega Master System. I had one of these. Great system. Possibly one of the most longest system consoles around it's still being sold for games in Brazil at the moment Sega Saturn I'm enjoying playing this myself currently at the moment with lots of Saturn games games I'm playing currently at the moment are Daytona CCE that one Hexen Manx TT and Mortal Kombat Trilogy and Knights and good old Sega Rally can't beat it we'll move on quickly Sega G SG-1000 which was the Master System the very first one in 1982 uh, Nintendo and uh, Neo Geo uh, CD. There's not that many of those that are any good. Sony PlayStation. There's a good selection of PlayStation. There's 4,000 games for the PlayStation. We're not going to put on all of them because most of them are Japanese. But there's a good selection of the, the most popular ones. There's something that everybody remembers. The only restriction with the launch box really is the size of your hard drive. A 2 terabyte one seems to be not really big enough if you want full ROM sets. Sony PlayStation 2. I've just done the most popular games which is around about 800 gig. Some of the best games like Black, Battlefield. Uh, Canis Canis Edison, which was Bully. Colin McRae. Crash Bandicoot. Devil May Cry Trilogy. God of Wars. Gran Turismo. Grand Theft Auto. Now there's 800 gig of games, which covers the basic games that everybody knows and loves to play. Last of all, the systems that are on there at the moment are PlayStation 3, which is now a work in progress, which is growing, which is fantastic. We'll do some reviews on them as well. Uh, and last of all on the list, the Super Nintendo, or Super NES, or SNES, depending on how you want to pronounce it. 
There's just under a thousand games there. We're not going to go through all of them, but they're all there, right down to the Mario's and the Street Fighters and the Donkey Kongs and. And we'll do a review, uh, part two review uh, with all the handhelds.